a pleasant day, STEM learners. This is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher. So this will be the last video lesson for our third quarter. And suppose you will be asked, as a researcher, you will be asked, how many sample size do you have? Do you want to have for you, your research to be credible in certain investigations? So at the end of this video lesson, you should be able to compute the sample size using the length of interval. Let's have the first problem. So Joshua, a coffee lover, wants to investigate if the average amount of caffeine in a cup of Starbucks coffee is correct to within 0 0.3 milligrams of margin of error. So Joshua adopted 95% confidence level in which he wanted to determine how many cups of Starbucks coffee does he need for his sample. So let us assume that the population standard deviation is 1.2 milligrams. So first, we write the given. So our margin of error is 0 0.3 milligrams. The, um, the term that you always look is the word within for you to be able to get the margin of error. Our population standard deviation is 1.2 milligrams and our um, confidence level is 95%. So of course, we need to find how many cups of sample does he need. For the solution, we use the formula, the sample size is equal to the Z confidence um, coefficient times our population standard deviation sigma over the margin of error squared. So we use 1.96 for a 95% confidence level times 1.2 milligrams over 0 0.3 milligrams as our margin of error squared. And then you directly input it using the scientific calculator, we will get 61.47. So the rule here is to round up because we, we don't consider a 0.47 value. So round it up to the nearest, to the next whole number. So 61.47 will be rounded up to 62 cups. So therefore, Joshua needs 62 cups of Starbucks coffee for his investigation. So Joshua will not worry anymore to guarantee the central limit theorem because for as long as he will obtain 62 cups, then his investigation will be, will have a confidence level of 95% already. So it means that Joshua could uh, assume that his study is accurate at 95% confidence level. Let's move on to problem number two. In a certain barangay, the captain wants to estimate the mean weight in kilograms of all six-year-old children to be included in a feeding program. So he wants to be 90% confident that the interval estimate is accurate within 0 0.06 kilograms margin of error. So we have report from a previous study says that the population star deviation is 0 0.5 kilograms. So again, we are looking for the sample size. How many children should the barangay captain choose as a sample in order for his feeding program to be successful? So since our determination for the margin of error is the word within, so that the margin of error is 0 0.06. The population star deviation sigma is 0 0.5. And associated degree or confidence level is 90%. So again, we find the sample size. For the solution, we use the formula n is equal to the confidence coefficient z times the population star division sigma over E, which is the margin of error squared. Do not forget to square. So since our Z is a 90% confidence level, our Z confidence coefficient is 1.65. Substituting the values, we have 1.65 times 0 0.5 over 0 0.6 squared. So the approximate value is 189.06. Observe that this 0 0.06 is um, insignificant. So we round it up to the next whole number. 
So the next whole number of 189 is 190 children. Again, the rule is rounding up. So thus, the Bangui Kapi need to choose 190 children as samples. So determining the number of samples will also help the barangay kapi, like say for example, the meal for the day is um, porridge or lugaw. Now, if the lugaw has eggs on it or chicken, so the, the barangay kapi might pre should prepare um, like 190 eggs or 190 pieces of chicken tenders. So that is how you decide on things. So for in order for his uh, feeding program to be successful, he must really determine how many children must be used as the sample for the said feeding program. So this formula help us help the captain in determining the number of children he needs. Okay, in order for his um, feeding program to be successful. So this is a very practical example of the use of computing for the sample size. So that ends our quarter three. So I hope to see you again on quarter four of statistics and probability. So this is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher.